All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can purchase every single car dealership in the world, create a monopoly, and then provide the worst customer service a human being can possibly experience. It's Auto Dealership Tycoon. Auto Dealership Tycoon is a game about taking the rights away from everyone around you by purchasing everything you see and selling cars that make people want to beat themselves to death with their own mouse pads. Why? Because when you own a Monopoly, everyone else doesn't really have a choice. And I don't want people to have choices. Play game, dammit. Oh, I love it when a game starts with a tutorial in text. Your first task is to adjust the prices of your cars. I enjoy how capitalistic the game starts off at. I think this should really be the priority of every single tycoon game ever made. So you get to select your starting brand, including Yoyota, I'm sorry, Yotoya, Funday, and Dub. <laughs> What? I mean, I had a Toyota for 275,000 miles. If Yotoya is the slightly methamphetamine-fueled off-brand, I... sure. Enter your dealer name. These cars support the meth. Damn it! We exist to rip you off. It's the only thing I can fit. There's not enough letters here, Dev. Let's get that fixed. I want at least 600 letters. Hi, and welcome to Jesus. Do we have to have the ultimate strobe arrow? You know what? Just exit the tutorial, figure it out. This is a very, very odd game because when you use the mouse wheel, what do you think would happen? Maybe zooming in, right? Nope. Moves the screen up and down. Zooming in is the forward and backward key. Our sales team consists of Matt, John, and Chris. I can tell that this game must have taken place in the 90s because I don't know if you'd get a lot of people with such plain names like this now. I want new employees. I need people with better names. I don't know what any of these numbers mean. Is that a 10 out of 10 or a 10 out of 100? Maybe that's his age. Maybe everyone we have working for us is a child. Now it says skill, so his skill's a 10, I don't know, whatever, Matt, keep sales managering. I do appreciate that some of the few things that are on our table is a cup of coffee and a car key with a big D on it. Upgrades, right over by the DVD catalog, sure. What the hell? Okay, so here's all your different car types. You got your heavy and your Vord and your, j does that, does that say, Jew? I mean, I, I guess I know what they're going for, but they could have called it pretty much anything else. Sweet Jesus, you don't start with a coffee vending machine? Yes, and Wi-Fi. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Just give me all this. One of the upgrades is an advertising clown. Not a sign waiver or maybe a, a marketing executive, but a clown with balloons. I want this. I can't have it. I'm very depressed. Welcome to Yotoya, where we have such fantastic vehicle models as the Eris, the Chipola, <laughs> the Four Walker, and the Tongra. God, I wish I could change the names, but Chipola, that's well done, Dev. Oh, we also have used cars, such as the Ball. Ah, here's where we can buy everyone and slowly ruin the lives of all the employees. There's a place here called Southside Autos. I want this to be like one of the first people that I buy, but it's really expensive. Easy Auto Group, you're probably going to be the sacrificial lamb. The day has begun. A customer returns to your dealership without a bumper, claiming it was not installed properly and fell off on I-86. Do you believe the customer and will you install a new bumper? Absolutely not. Go to hell. Over at the auto auction, Deborah Sweetbass brings us through the various models and vehicles that are up for sale, like this four walker here, which you can see has no blood stains on it, so I do want it. I love seeing we exist to rip you off in headlines like that. Are you reading from a script LOL? Like five people just said that. Yes, they're reading from a script. It's called training. If you want them to become less like AI and develop personalities, you should have put less emphasis on customer service. Okay, they can't piss off the customers if they read exactly what I tell them to read. Wow. What a bunch of unskilled slobs. Find me new ones. Over here on Zelp, we got a plus one customer service rating score. It says such things as, I got a great deal. I took my car in for service, for a transmission. What they don't know is while we were changing their transmission fluid out, we were also sawing through their transmission lines a little bit. <laughs> Control module labor, $87. Parts, $200. Us just slightly untightening all of your lug nuts. Priceless. What is this guy doing? What is this? Your prices are the worst. Don't you know how to sell any cars? Some dude with a freaking top hat and a cane was in there scaring all my people away. Call it me crap. $2,000 to the first salesman that runs that bastard over in the parking lot. I just looked at the new buildings. I like that the service traffic is low, low to mid, mid, high, and boss. <laughs> 
a million dollars, son of a bitch. This is a game where employees live and die by the day. Like, because Chuck has a higher number here, I'm firing Chris. Did Chris really do anything wrong? No. But the problem is I only have two seats. So get the hell out of here, Chris. You just got replaced with John's identical twin. It's the same guy. My entire sales team is the same person duplicated three times. John's like, don't do it, Gray. I've been here since the beginning. I have no allegiance to you. Get the hell off my team. You've been replaced by Jen. Oh, I'm clearing out the whole team today. Service managers getting changed. Even Don over here is going home. Oh my God, this lady is incredible. First guy that walks in the door buys a car. What the hell is she doing? Threatening them? I've, I need two of this lady. Also, what is this, what is this TV? Is that, was that Fortnite just then? Looked like Fortnite, but from 1991. Uh, I just zoomed out while I was at the bottom of the screen. What the hell is this down here? You know what? I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. You know what would be cool? If you could be more like her. What the hell is this? Claims front passenger side has scratches that were not there when it was serviced. Will you buff it out? Absolutely not. Bruh. That moment when you're replaced by a man named Chad. Welcome everyone to the brand new friggin' building. Oh, that reminds me, I think I can finally have my clown. Yes. And this guy too. All right, I got $41 left, let's not screw this up. I'm really curious, what is this guy doing? Is he just taking notes? Taking notes on what it is to become more human? He's probably writing down all the ways I'm violating the law and abusing my, my customers and my employees. I need to get this guy fired. I also feel like I'm not getting my money's worth with this clown. He can moonwalk, but he hasn't given out a single friggin' balloon. Some lady just came in and bought like six cars. What the hell was that? What is she gonna do with them all? Your dealer is ranked 10 on the top 10. Telling me that is is a serious kick in the balls. I don't even I don't even know why they had to publish this on the news. Congrats, your last car of the year, my ass. I'm actually curious on whether or not we have some sort of dress code because everyone's wearing exactly the same tie. As a man who used to wear a tie every day, I know this to be impossible. There's a million ties in this world. Sometimes people would come to work in ties that I would rather strangle myself with. You scumbags need to sell one more four walker to make me a bunch of money. I swear to God, you better do it. Yes, well done. I don't remember your name. I think it's Joey or maybe Tim or Don or something like that. As a bonus, from now on, I will remember your name. I, I can't afford to pay you anymore. His name is Chuck. His name was Chuck. He's getting fired because there's someone better now. <laughs> oh, how fickle the industry is. You know what I hate more than anything in the world? People outbidding you at the last second. Okay, hold on. I bid, but it said sold. What did I just do to the game? Did I get it? I don't think I got it. I am the inspector. I'm here to check a few things. On average, you sell two cars per day. Did he just say LOL? You son of a bitch. <gasps> Why do you only have one license? Give me a friggin' break. Maybe if you gave me more money when I sold the cars, I'd have more than one license. This guy came in solely to make fun of us. That's another person on the assassination list. Brian, I'm not saying you haven't done a good job, but Joe just wants less money. <laughs> Brian, you suck as a service manager, but I don't have anyone else there, so you're hired. How come every gen looks exactly the same? Every gen is also highly skilled and they want less money. I feel bad doing this, but welcome to the team. The extended warranty does not cover flat tires, but the customer claims he was informed the tires were covered. Do you wish to replace the flat tire? No. No matter how big of dicks we are, people will still buy stuff from us. Jen just quit. I'm gonna friggin' cry myself to sleep. Welcome everyone to building friggin' three. Got a coffee machine and a soda machine now, and you can watch Fortnite in two different rooms. I've got every upgrade now. I've got this woman over here. She's a receptionist, but everyone just completely ignores her. This is real. I've seen this happen over and over again. You go into a car dealership, there's some lady at a desk, and people usually assault you before you can get anywhere, which I find kind of interesting because my salespeople never leave their friggin' desks. Okay, we're starting to make thick stacks every day. I'm making like 160 grand at this point. Our customer service rating is starting to go up somehow, even though I tell everyone to go to hell when they want me to do anything. People be like, Gray, one of your mechanic technicians urinated inside of my vehicle. Could you give me a discount? And be like, no, it adds character. I seriously think that everyone is a masochist because I'm treating everyone like crap and our customer service rating is now an 83. Ben, you've been with us a long time, but someone with a bigger number has applied. Goodbye. Tell your family it was all your fault. Someone just came in and bought 
like a $10,000 heiress and traded in a $40,000 vehicle. That's when you know someone just had a divorce. Current hot cars, heiress and heiress. What the hell does that mean? Does that mean that they're gonna sell twice as much? We're selling Jew cars from now on, I've decided. Okay, Jew cars are expensive as hell. What does that smell? The customer claims that somebody defecated in the backseat of his car while the car was parked in your lot. Will you put on rubber gloves and clean it? <laughs> no. I was kidding about the whole urine thing, but well, there you go. <laughs> Your dealer's ranked eight. Mother of God, we're actually getting somewhere. Big D money, baby. Now it's starting to roll in. I'm gonna be buying people up soon. Customer claims somebody went for a joyride in her vehicle after it was dropped off for service. Will you reimburse her for the alleged joyride? No. What is this? Friggin' Ferris Bueller's day off? Building four. Give it to me. All the upgrades. We're gonna get a friggin' car wash, a waiting area, delicious vending machine. So, what happens when you buy another dealer? West Auto Mall. I own you now. Oh my god. Owning dealerships just gives you free money. Oh, look who it is. It's Count Dicula. Hey, you staring at the screen, do something about this. What am I supposed to do? Like, beat this guy to death with my cursor? Easy Auto Group, you're coming with me. Making 11 grand for free now a day, just from dealerships. So I just learned something. As time goes on, if you have a high customer service rating, all of your dealers get higher customer service ratings. This could get out of control really fast. Let's buy another one. We're getting $37,000 a day now just from the dealers. Oh, yeah. Did you notice as well that as you get better and better offices, you get more and more plants? I'm hoping that the final office is just swamped with plants. Up to $42,000, almost $43,000 a day now. I've waited a long time to buy your friggin' dealership. Mm, about $100,000 a day now from the various dealerships. Who's next on the chopping block? We do need to make the uh, the complete monopoly here. Union. Me coming for them is legitimately like a Game of Thrones style siege because they know it's going to happen. Eventually, they know that we exist to rip you off is going to purchase their business and they will become our minions. They will exist only to please our bottom line. The reason that the prices continue to go up and we make more and more money is because they get less and less vacation time. Typically people work eight to five. These people work five to five, as in 5 a.m. till 5 a.m. the next day. Union Auto Group, let me hear the screams of the innocent. Okay, do you know why I wanna buy everyone? This way they can't bid against me in these freaking auctions. The auctions are what takes the most amount of my time right now. I swear to you son of a bitch. Okay, it's time to buy the friggin' boss building. If I was just still selling the crappy brand, would I have a crappy display car here? Because this isn't my normal blast. <laughs> the palace, that's it, even. What the hell? Dealer's number one, it's still not good enough though. All right, buy the most expensive license. Perfect. Manny. I remember that time where you outbid me in the auction, and I think you know what time it is. Don't worry, you'll be driving around the Big D pretty soon. We're almost at a million at this point, getting about $250,000 a day from our lovely dealerships that are doing all the selling for us. Ed, you're joining the team. Well, this is pretty awkward. So, um, our worth is ridiculous. It's... Like seven times as much as the next closest thing. We own all of the competition and the game needs a top five. So it won't let us buy, it won't let us buy the last five people. I think it's because our monopoly is so strong that the game can't work unless these ones are here. We're making $310,000 a day in, in profits just from our dealers. I'm sorry, $335,000 a day now from dealerships. That's okay. Even if the game forces us to allow these people to survive, there's still something else that we could do over to the upgrades area, damn it. We will now own every single license there is. All of it. I don't know, I guess maybe uh, at least five or so of every single model there is. I'm just gonna click wildly, it doesn't really matter. I don't know how but we've essentially become the Sam's Club of Cars. Every single new car in the entire universe is only sold under one roof, ours. Every single day that goes by, we make another million and a half dollars selling every single frigging car under the sun. It doesn't matter what it is. I buy all the used cars. I win all the auctions. 
and I sell every single brand there is. And uh, my employees, they all go home sobbing because they know there's no other lifestyle than to work at this giant monopolized hellhole. Well, we did it. We took over the entire world. I'm going to go over to the auction and bid against myself so that we can further make more money. We're in the number one spot by like, you know, a lot. Hey, folks, let me join this episode of Auto Dealership Tycoon. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.